Hello everyone, Scooby Doo here with a overview slash review of the Hisense Chill personal home vending machine. I just picked this up last week, putting it into my movie room because I just wanted to have a soda vending machine in there. But you can probably put it in a gaming room, your garage, or anywhere else that has a 110 volt outlet. It's a really simple and easy thing to hook up. Again, I said it's 110, you just stick it in your normal uh, home outlet there's no special wiring involved uh, as far as the size goes it stands approximately uh, five feet in height it's about 24 inches wide by I'd say about 30 inches deep don't quote me on the depth on that but uh, where I purchased it which was wayfair.com uh, they actually have all of the specifics on the exact dimensions of the machine this is more just an overview uh, that I'm giving you today <clears throat> So let's take a little bit of closer look the uh, front panel does light up as you can see right here now You can put a custom uh, artwork in there if you'd like it's really simple Well, I thought it was simple anyways Well, there's a thing up here on the top is telling me to push but maybe I, I don't know push pull or something Well, this thing pops up and when it pops up, you, you pull out the artwork and you can put other artwork in. I know you can purchase some items off of uh, fathead.com or you could just have somebody print you up something. Uh, you can probably get your favorite football, baseball team or movie or anything else put in there. Uh, the buttons themselves don't actually light up except for when you're making your selection. But they do come with these tabs. Or again, you can make up your own tabs and uh, insert them inside. They're really easy. Now, Maytag, I believe, came out with a personal home vending machine some years back called the Skybox. wasn't quite as tall, and it kind of had a weird shape to it. Uh, this one, I, I like it much better. It's all in black, and I'll try to see if you can see it in the video. It's like a flat black, and then there's a shiny kind of mirrored finished black. So it looks really sharp. It's a really nice looking machine. Also too, a nice feature is it has a bottom compartment, which I'll open up right now, which is uh, like a little mini refrigerator. So you can keep other sodas, or if you're throwing parties, maybe hors d'oeuvres or something. So you have an extra compartment down below. It just works like a refrigerator. And then you have your upper section which actually does come with the lock you can actually uh, put a lock on it they also have it where if you have beer in here um, you can actually lock that selection although I don't really see that to be necessary because if you have beer in your house and you didn't have one of these where's the beer gonna be in the refrigerator so unless you're locking your refrigerator uh, I don't really see the importance of having a lock but you can lock it so if you want to lock it, you can. Uh, you have four different selections. Uh, it works best with cans because you can get two sets of rows in there. Plus you can also stack them on top. Um, you can also do bottles. I don't know if you can do glass bottles. That I don't know. So I don't have any glass bottles, so I haven't tried it, and I never read the instructions. So I'm assuming you probably could. <clears throat> Really easy to set the temperature. Actually, like again, I said, it's really easy to set up. You just plug it in and away it goes. Uh, I did notice with mine that, and you can hear the fan right now. Let's see. Can you hear that? Is that a scratch? I put a scratch. No, it's not a scratch. Um, if you can hear it, it's really, it's really low. I mean, it doesn't make hardly any noise, and the fan only comes on every once in a while when you've been opening and closing the door. Uh, but what I was gonna say about the fan was is that when I first purchased this and plugged it in, the fan was making a lot of noise, almost as if the fan was actually like hitting something. And uh, that went on for about maybe 15 or 20 minutes and then after that it seemed to settle down and it hasn't had that problem since. So there we go, there's a machine. Um, now the indicators will come on when you make a selection. What's one cool thing is it won't, well, it's not supposed to, it's not supposed to let you take out a second thing on there, but I guess it just did. <laughs> Unless I'm supposed to set it up a certain way. Um, 
but the cans work the best. These bottles work fine. You just can't get as many in there. Uh, the only the only issue is with these particular um, water bottles right here. Uh, these sometimes stick only because it's a thinner plastic. So they kind of you can see how these kind of compress in a little bit. So sometimes these don't roll as well inside of the compartment. So just know that. Uh, I did try to purchase a, a harder plastic water bottle, which are ones like these, which are a little bit bigger. I think, how many ounces are these? These are 24 ounce. These are too big. They'll fit into the uh, top half, but they won't actually fit through the uh, trap door area when it's coming down. So these will be too big so you will need to go with a smaller water bottle just note that sometimes they do get stuck it's best just to use the uh, cans there you go there's also a light inside uh, the trapdoor area when the uh, beverage comes out so there we go the high sense chill uh, like I said I picked this up uh, on wayfair.com they also have a store on eBay. You can purchase it either way. It's going to be the same amount. It was five seventy four, I believe, and that was including shipping and delivery in your home. So that was the best price I could find. They they actually uh, I don't know if they still sell them, but they had them I think at Home Depot and a few other outlet places, and they were oh. Geez, they were about like seven to eight hundred. So the five seventy four uh, was the best price. Really cool item to have. Really, really cool. Especially somebody like me because I drink a lot of water and a lot of soda. So if nothing else, I save room in my refrigerator by having this. And again, it's kind of novel. You know, it's, it's kind of a novelty that you know if you have people coming over and they're like, "Hey, I want something to drink." Yeah, go to the vending machine, get something out of it. worked really well I'm glad I I actually like this purchase I, I ha, I've had like candy machines before and stuff which are also really cool especially for your movie room but I didn't use them a lot this I'm actually gonna get a lot of use out of a lot of use out of it so if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below again if you want the exact specifics on exactly how many cans you can put in there or how many bottles etc just go to Wayfair.com, look up Chill by Hisense, and there's a uh, full description as far as capacity and all that stuff goes. All right, that is it. I shall talk to you guys later. We'll take a quick glimpse over there at the Star Wars wall. You can't tell by this angle, but I've, uh, I've changed some stuff around on there. So uh, look for those videos coming in the upcoming weeks. They're going to be fantastic. And, of course, the Jurassic World. Uh, coming in August. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a good evening.